My brothers and sisters, you are now watching the Gamer 2323, so just forget about the chores you're supposed to do. Put your feet up, get your Kool-Aid fried chicken popcorn, get whatever you may need! And I hope you enjoy the video. So Microsoft's E3 2017 press conference, man. A lot of people was looking forward to this event, you know. Got the Xbox Scorpio, like, official reveal of the console itself, you know. Got the price reveal of the sucker, which, which was going to be, like, the end-all, be-all of this thing in the first place. I personally, before I even get into this recap, I don't think Microsoft had a back press conference. I would give their press, I, and I asked my um stream after it ended, I was like, yo, what score, honestly, don't be a fanboy about this joke, <laughs> what score, honestly, would you guys give Microsoft's press conference this year some people said five out of ten some people said you know six out of ten of course you had those sony ponies that said <laughs> of course you had those people that said 2.5 out of 10 i gave it a seven out of ten i don't think it was a bad conference at all microsoft's press conference of course they started it off with the xbox scorpio talking about um the scorpio the official name of the scorpio is the xbox one x so now you have the xbox one you got the xbox one s and you got the xbox one x can you imagine a little kid during you know christmas like hey mom can um you think you can get me a uh, xbox one s s and x so if you ain't like real <laughs> specific of how you saying that s and x i could already see that mistake being done during the holiday season mom i wanted an x not an s <laughs> i could already see it but uh xbox one x is the official name of the uh, xbox scorpio so you got the original xbox one got the xbox one s which i think is like what 250 dollars i think and now you got the xbox one x and at first these suckers didn't even say the price i'm like <laughs> because like after they talked about and uh, i mean it's just from from the people in the man the xbox drones was out <laughs> in that audience because when phil spencer came out there was like phil 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 <laughs> i'm just like Boy, these suckers ready, you know, so, um, what's it called, uh, I mean, from people in the crowd wearing, what the freak did that shirt say? I think it said, I witnessed the most powerful, uh, con a con a console ever, and I'm just like, this is pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> they showed off the, uh, console itself. It is the smallest Xbox One ever, which I thought it would be either the same size as the Xbox One S, or maybe a little smaller than that. I don't know if it's still going to include that power brick with it, <laughs> you know, but, uh, this is going to be the smallest Xbox ever. Um, and of course, the first game they show running on it, was Forza, <laughs> which wasn't really a shock to me. I mean, again, they got Halo, they got Forza, and they got Gears. And, you know, Forza, I think, is a good game to show running on the Xbox One X, you know. So that was the first game they, they uh started showing. But the thing was, they, talk, like, they showed the Xbox One X, you know, talked about the specs and how powerful this junk is, and then they went straight into, like, just showing games running on. I'm like, wait, hold on. Y'all see how low-key they just completely skipped the price of this junk, right? Because they, they did not talk about the price at first. They said that at the end of it. So the price is $4.99, and it kind of got leaked by, uh the uh the do the do the dorito pope if you will the um hideo kojima's doormat <laughs> jeff Keeley. he uh kind of you know put it out there that that uh at the current moment of time it was going to be 499 dollars that's what it ended up being i didn't think they could sell this junk at 399 because these suckers got to make some type of a profit off of it like some people thought it should have been lower than what it is which is 490 i i personally thought it was either going to be that 
550 or 600. Pretty much one of the best games they showed off was a uh, Metro Exodus. I didn't play and I and I hear that this is a good uh, series as I was saying in my uh, chat yesterday. I haven't played none of the I, I played a tad of Metro Last Light on PS3 cuz right before I think on um, PS4 came out Metro Last Light was like a PS Plus game for free so I I downloaded it. I was playing it for a bit but I didn't really get into it. But I hear Metro is a good series. Suck it. That Metro Exodus that they were showing now I don't know if that jump was running on the <laughs> because a lot of people was like this truck is not running on the Xbox One X. But I'm like, I mean, hey, it could quite possibly be, you know. I mean, you got suckers in in the crowd, you know, wearing I witnessed the most powerful console. Why, you know, why can't this junk be running on the Xbox One X? So I'm not sure if it was indeed running on the Xbox One X or behind the scenes they said, hey, can uh can uh we get a PC, <laughs> you know, to uh, run these junks but metro exodus that junk looked incredible dude that junk caught my eye comes out in 2018 they didn't really say a day let's hope it doesn't get delayed um then they showed uh assassin's creed origins we all know assassin's creed took a year off i think it deserved a another year off <laughs> like two years but some people like the assassin's creed series some people just grown tired of it that's kind of where i am i just don't really have any interest in assassin's creed no more they showed a trailer for that and some gameplay for it that comes out october 27th um now this is when i was like sucker this junk could barely run on pc they trying to bring this junk to console <laughs> player unknown battlegrounds i play that junk all the time on pc and uh i mean let's just say it's not the best optimized game on pc right now like they still have to make a lot of fixes for that game so to see that junk coming to um the xbox one x i think uh and and here's the thing that they were doing now we all know that console exclusive is now a term, right? I mean, heck, for uh Sony, for a uh, um for a Street Fight for a Street Fighter Five, we all know that that's not on Xbox One. Literally on the case, it says console exclusive. So that is now a term, console exclusive. It's, if the other console does not have it, despite the fact it being on PC, it's exclusive to console. That's a that's a term now. These suckers, Microsoft came up with a completely new term. <laughs> You got console exclusive, and Microsoft was using the term console launch exclusive. And I'm just like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> and they was using that term a lot, console launch exclusive. All that really means is it's going to be on the X. It's, it's, it's pretty much the same case as what like they did for something like Rise of the Tomb Raider, which I think over time still sold more on PS4. But uh, it's going to come out first on Xbox One. It could be a few months. It could be a year. Who knows? But it's going to be out first on Xbox One. But it is coming to PS4 as well. You know, heck, maybe even the Switch. So they was using this term console launch exclusive so much. And I just knew straight out the gate, this is a red flag right here. Because they're using this junk so much. This junk tells me they don't have any like flat out exclusives <laughs> they really did it dude state of decay 2 i was kind of highly disappointed by this because state of decay 2 was one of the games that caught my eye last year at microsoft's uh press conference state of decay 2 they showed a trailer for that um didn't really catch my eye like how it did last year uh they showed a little bit more of that but that comes out in spring of 2018 um Oh, yeah, and the Xbox One X comes out November 7th, dude. Three days before my brother's birthday. Buy it for me. Um, <laughs> Then they show, oh, Lord, that's when they got this bald dude. <laughs> it was some bald dude that was, like, standing on, like, the stage. And he was, like, casting this match. He was like, oh, yeah, so now they're going around here. Oh, my God, they're about to shoot this man. <laughs> And uh, it was this game called the Darwin Project, which actually, in my opinion, didn't look that bad. I know people in in a, my a chat was like, 
get this trash off the screen, <laughs> you know. But to me, it didn't, it didn't look that bad. The Darwin uh, project, I do need to see more of that, though. Um, and they should have gave it, gave that guy on stage a raise because that man was casting like his life depended on it. Uh, Minecraft in 4K. It's like being in be it's like being in a pool and asking for water. It's like it's like being at Popeyes and calling KFC like, "Hey, y'all got some chicken?" <laughs> it's like Minecraft in 4K. <laughs> just doesn't even make any sense to me, bro. It's like you want you want to see blocks in 4K, you know? But that's a thing. And I, I mean, granted, Minecraft makes a whole lot of money, dude. Uh, so I mean, it, in my opinion, is pointless. But Minecraft has such a huge freaking fan base behind it, and it makes so much money. I don't think you can even. Like, really uh, get on them for that. But when I heard Minecraft 4K, I was like, word. <laughs> <laughs> you just One of the best games that caught my eye. That Dragon Ball Z Fighters game. Suck it, listen. There will be no, and I'll repeat myself. There will be no. There is no debate. Don't at me. Don't try to debate this, okay? There will be no Dragon Ball Z game that is better than Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3. You could bring up the Tenkaichi series. You could bring up the Rage and Blast. You could bring up the Xenoverse series. Suck a shut up. No Dragon Ball Z <laughs> game is better than Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3. But I tell you what. Boy, that Dragon Ball Z fight, that chunk was looking lit. I mean, it it, 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 it kind of had that Marvel vs. Capcom vibe. I guess even a, guilt, a, a, a Guilty Gear vibe. Heck, even that, uh, what's that game on a PC called? Uh, Mew, uh, Mugen? Or Mugen? Or however you pronounce that game? It, it had that vibe to it. But man, that junk looked fun as heck, dude. So... I can't wait for that jump to come out. Sadly, it doesn't come out this year. It's early 2018. But that jump was looking. Have my eye on that. Um, Again, they use the term console launch exclusive with this game that apparently has already been out on PC for over a year now. Black Desert. Didn't look that bad. But I wasn't aware that it was already on PC for over a year now. But they did use the term console launch exclusive <laughs> so they got that uh code vein which was an interesting uh trailer to me that's uh, coming in 2018 and again here's the issue and i think there's two sides to this i don't think all people care about this i think it's really only the hardcore gamers that care about this if you're a casual and all you want is great games i don't even think this matters to you which is why some people don't understand why a lot of people have an issue with xbox one literally i'm talking about every game they showed not damn near every game every game they showed is going to be on xbox one and pc at the very least dude if you got a pc you can play every xbox one title you <laughs> saw on your pc and that's the thing. Now, I know some console players don't even care about PC. A lot of people don't even look at PC as a game, you know, as a gaming platform. But if you do have a PC as well as consoles, you technically do not need an Xbox One to play Xbox One One's games. And that's an issue if you are a hardcore gamer and you have a pc as well as consoles now, i now, i i know they don't that whole playstation now thing to where i guess you can stream all i don't know how many because a sucker i haven't been on playstation now since damn the beta <laughs> so i haven't been on playstation now in so long but i know that you're gonna they're gonna bring more playstation now games you know and now you can stream playstation now on pc 
So technically now people are saying, oh, well, guess what? Now now you can play all the PlayStation <laughs> games on PC. I mean, but yeah, that 720p, uh, I, I, again, I haven't been on play on PlayStation now in so long. I don't even know what that junk looked like at this point. But that's really the difference here. So okay, I literally just upgraded my PC literally just a few months ago. I can't wait to play Sea of Thieves on PC. I can't wait to play Cuphead on PC. I can't wait to <laughs> crack down three on PC. I mean, Lord have mercy. But again, if you don't have a, have, have a PC, this doesn't really matter to you. But that's really the issue. But Code Vein, that did look good. That's coming in 2018. Sea of Thieves. Now, y'all know I kind of I kind I kind of been bashing this game like why are Xbox fan was hyping up this garbage <laughs> so much because last year that Sea of Thieves gameplay they showed was not impressive at all to me. So the, the jump was cringy to me. Actually, it was that bad, I guess, because they always get I, I think they should stop doing that jump, bro, because it's just it's just not the place for it. They get these either you uh, uh Either, they get either Twitch streamers to have these, you know, freaking fake reactions of them playing the game, or they get these big you, or they get these big YouTube guys to, you know, uh, show them playing the game and having reactions. That's cool and all, but sometimes you gotta find either the right people that truly don't fake reactions, or you just. I just, I, it, it's hard to find a place for that at E3 because suckers don't want to see a new game being played by, I don't know, freaking Joe Schmo on YouTube or Joe Schmo on Twitch. It's just cringy. I will say this, and I will uh, step up to the plate here and say that I was kind of wrong about Sea of Thieves because the gameplay that they showed last night, that jump was not bad at all, dude. I was actually enjoying what I was seeing for the first time of Sea of Thieves. It was pure gameplay. It looked fun. It looked more enjoyable. It wasn't just on the freaking ships. <laughs> like, they got off the ships and went on the island and had guns and stuff. Sea of Thieves wasn't looking too bad, man. I was like, okay, I can feel it. I can feel it. So, that's coming early 2018. And I'm going to be saying this a lot. Sea of Thieves... Can't wait to play that junk on my PC, fam. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> Had a new, um, I guess a new IP. Uh, super. I, at first, I was like, are you suckers going to bring back Conquer? Because a lot of people, you know, want Conquer to come back. Nah, but you could get Super Lucky's Tale, <laughs> you know, so it's some Fox, and it's a platformer game. And I think it's good for um Xbox because, again, it's something that had the. They they need any new title that they can get at this point. Super Lucky Cell, it didn't look that bad, you know. Uh, that comes out this year, actually, November 7th. Um, so it comes out the same day as the Xbox One X. Um, Crackdown 3, I was actually really let down by this. Crackdown 3 is supposed to be one of Xbox One's biggest titles. And... This little trailer they show with Terry Crews. I mean, I love Terry Crews. I mean, from white chicks to everybody hates Chris. I mean, Lord have mercy. I love Terry Crews, but he was he wasn't enough to save this game. <laughs> <laughs> Crackdown three. That trailer they show. That gameplay trailer they show. And they didn't even spend too long on it. Neither. I thought we was gonna really see some more Crackdown three. I remember before the Xbox One. X was a thing like they were talking about how Crackdown 3 was going to use the power of the cloud and the power of DX12 and all of that stuff. I don't know what happened what happened to all that freaking uh piss piss posh. <laughs> you know the power of DX12 and the power of the cloud. Who who knows what that really meant? It probably, I mean, I think the power of DA stuff and the power of, of the cloud was the Xbox One X all along. <laughs> they, they was like, you know what? We are preaching BS to these people. We, we, we needed a new console to do this stuff. So, but yeah, man, Crackdown 3, that was a major letdown, but I kind of am still interested in it. That will also be a launch title on the Xbox One X when that comes out. But for me, 
Can't wait to play that junk on my PC, fam. Woo! <laughs> can't, can't wait. <laughs> you know, uh, they had a section for uh, indies, and those, so they were showing us some indies again. Indies are always going to be a part of these conferences because indies. So I mean, whether I mean whether you like them or not, indies are a huge part, especially of this generation of console. Life is strange. Woo! The game that made me shed some thug tears, because that's what they were. Uh, Life is Strange Before the Storm is what it's called. Life is Strange Before the Storm, so it's a prequel to Life is Strange, um, and I think there's three episodes. Uh, the first one comes out August 31st, so it's a prequel to uh, you know Life is Strange, you know. So there's Rachel in there and stuff like that. Uh, so that that'll be cool. Um, Middle Earth Shadow of War, which was one of the best games at their uh event man that i can't wait for that jump to come out man middle earth shadow of war if you guys did not get a chance to play middle earth shadow of mordor even if you're not like really into the lord of the rings like lore and world man get middle earth i i personally love that game the gameplay was really good i love the nemesis system in that game um at times it did get maybe a little bit repetitive but it was still a really good game that was slept on i think when it came out in 2014 i think um so i can't wait for middle earth shadow of war they show ori will of the wisps so they're going to do another uh ori in the blind force i heard ori in the blind force was a really good game didn't get a chance to play it. i'm gonna probably try to play uh event eventually but uh, ori will of the wisps that's the thing i think that comes out in i don't did they even give a date for that i don't know but most likely 2018 um one of the biggest moments at Microsoft's press conference. And now, granted, I think it's big. Because, I, don't, I don't think it's big, but I think it's great because uh, I'm always going to be a fan of backwards compatibility. <laughs> I'm always going to be a fan of backwards compatibility on consoles. I mean, heck, if, if I think in a lot of our best dreams and wishes that if the PS4 was fully backwards compatible, and you could play PS1 games, PS2 games, and PS3 games on it fully backwards compatible. I think some people would, would definitely be for that. One of the biggest moments at Microsoft's uh, E3 that actually had like a not 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 a standing ovation, but the people in like the crowd was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, backwards compatible OG Xbox, the first Xbox, that Xbox one, the real Xbox one, <laughs> you know, the classic first original Xbox uh, is going to have some backwards compatibility coming to it on the Xbox one X and the Xbox one. So that's honestly really cool to me, you know, that, um, Xbox is doing, I guess, to make up for their lack of, I mean, let's be honest, to make up for their lack of exclusives, uh, they're going to just bring games from older Xboxes <laughs> over to the, and hey, I, I, I'm, I mean, again, I'm always going to be a fan of backwards compatibility, so, I mean, to me, that's uh, great for, for uh, Xbox fans and uh, stuff like that, but when that's pretty much the moment that gets the crowd going, to play games that they played 15, 20 plus years ago. Yeah, you got a problem, fam. <laughs> you got a serious problem, but And last but not least, the best game. And I think some people are getting this junk confused. I don't know if Xbox fans are just trying to lie and be like, oh no, this is exclusive. <laughs> Sucking no it not. No, it's not. Uh Anthem. Listen. I don't know if that's why Mass Effect Andromeda turned out the way it was. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if, like, that's officially why Mass Effect Andromeda ended up being the way it was. And you know how we how that junk went. Um, Anthem looks incredible. I, suck it. I, I was, like, I was kind of looking forward to seeing what this game was going to be about and how it was supposed to be the Destiny killer and the next big shooter from Bioware. But, my God, I wasn't expecting, suck it. listen, Anthem looks incredible. And I know we have to see more because there's been so many times down the down the road. I mean, we 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 can just look back. First time we got the world the world premiere of the division, that looked incredible. First time we got the world premiere. I mean, sucker, dude. 
Do y'all have time for this? <laughs> do y'all do y'all really want me to remind y'all how many games we first saw on reveal at E3 that looked incredible? And then once they came out, it was like, that's it. <laughs> you know, so Anthem at this current moment does look incredible. Not even one of the best games that was just at Microsoft's conference. That's one of the best games that's at E3 right now, in my opinion. Anthem, that comes in 2018. Again, it is not because I've seen people in the in the chat saying, is this exclusive to Xbox? Nah, suck it. <laughs> nah. And that, oh man, that's, that, that is literally, I don't know how many, and again, maybe they flat out don't care because they're doing the play everywhere thing with Xbox to where you can always play it on your Xbox or with, or with, Win, or with, or with Windows 10. They're doing the whole play everywhere thing. So maybe Microsoft don't even care about just having flat out playing exclusives on Xbox no more. Maybe they really do want you to play anywhere, you know, cross play, whatever, you know, but. Could you imagine if Anthem was only on Xbox? Like, if you wanted to play Anthem, you had to have an Xbox. Suck it, that would officially be one of... And I thought they were going to have at least one of those games. Like, the next title in the future. Like, that is pretty much the future of Xbox. Like, the next Halo, the next Gears, the next... The next fours or whatever, <laughs> you know, I thought they were going to have at least one big new IP title that was going to be the future of Xbox. The new the new thing on Xbox that is the face of Xbox. And I mean, dude, could you imagine if that was Anthem? That would have been I mean, what better what better game to have <laughs> on only on Xbox than that. Anthem was the thing that ended their conference. So again, I don't think Microsoft's conference was bad. I give it a 7 out of 10. But at this point, and I was saying this junk in my chat yesterday. Let's be real for a second. Because I know I like to joke around a lot. <laughs> and troll a lot. I take pleasure in doing that. Let's be real for a second. All Sony has to do. Let's be real. All they have to do is show the exact same games that they showed last year. I mean, they don't have to show not one new game. They can show the exact same games they showed last year at E3. Show new gameplay for those games. Have release dates for those games. Maybe have like max one or two come out this year. And they and, and they won E3. <laughs> like that's really all Sony has to do to outdo Microsoft. And I don't know because uh, it's, it's it's going to be an issue until this junk gets addressed. That's Xbox is not a bad console. It's not. I don't I don't, I don't care how many people try to tell you the Xbox One sucks. It doesn't because I had an Xbox One before. I got rid of that junk after playing Quantum Break because I'm just like, man, I don't need this junk anymore. <laughs> but PlayStation is always, dude. It don't matter what, bruh. It don't matter what Xbox <laughs> does. It really doesn't. PlayStation is always going to have a leg up on Xbox because of their exclusives alone. And when people say exclusives don't matter, get the freak out of here with that. Yes, they do. <laughs> yes, they do, sucker. Because if exclusives didn't matter, I wouldn't have gotten the original Xbox, the Xbox 360, and the Xbox One all for one game, Halo. And that junk ain't the same no more, so it's just like, what the freak am I buying this junk for now? Xbox One literally, technically, has no exclusives. All those games they showed, I can't believe I I, I I missed this. Cuphead. Cuphead finally has a release date, my dudes. <laughs> uh, Cuphead comes out, I think they said September 29th. Can't wait to play that on my PC. <laughs> I don't think the casual gamer even, like, cares about this because they don't have PC. They don't even consider PC like a gaming platform. It's just nothing but consoles. So this really might not matter to some people. 
but as more and more people are getting into PC, I mean freaking look I mean freaking look 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 at me. I was one of the biggest console plebs out there. Like my eyes could not see past 30 FPS, but now I've ascended. <laughs> you know, so I'm starting to get into PC. Get more and more people are getting into PC gaming. So if you have a PC, do you really need an Xbox One? That's really the question at this point. Do you need an Xbox One if you have a PC? That's why I say for a lot of people right now, the best two things to own right now is a PS4 and a PC. If you got those two, you can literally play almost every game out of course outside of the Nintendo Switch, but they still need games that's not named Zelda on it. <laughs> you know, so that's going to take some time, but if you got a PS4 and PC right now, you're winning. You've won. <laughs> like you've won this game already. I think the price of the Xbox One X uh I mean I don't know, because I don't know, this isn't going to be for the majority. Like, some people don't even, some people don't even care about 4K. Like, <laughs> like honestly, even me, I don't even really care. Like, as hard as they've been pushing 4K now, you know, and as 4K TVs are starting to get cheaper in the market, like, I think over time, more and more people are going to get into 4K and get 4K TVs. But at this point, sucker, I'm fine playing on 1080p, dude. Like, I'm. some people don't even care. Like, the PS4 Pro, I don't know exactly how many uh, units that is sold thus far, but I don't even think the PS4 Pro is selling all that well. People don't even really know, ex outside of the hardcore gamers, people don't even really understand the difference. Like, what is HDR? What is, like... <laughs> Like so, some people truly don't even understand what that junk is right now. So them them pushing 4K and the most powerful console ever. I mean that's great to the hardcore gamer, but to the casual people that just want to play games, they don't know what the freak this junk is. But I will say that Microsoft has made a better effort in explaining the differences of the xbox one the xbox one s to the xbox one x i don't think sony was as clear as explaining like okay this is why you need a ps4 pro or like or you can just go with the ps4 <laughs> like i think microsoft did a better job at explaining it but let's be real some people flat out don't even care about 4k so do you really need this console or are are are, are you going to pay double the price of the xbox one s to get a xbox one x or you could take the price of the xbox one x and you can get yourself an xbox one s and a ps4 you could get two consoles for the price of one there are so many like <laughs> it's just i don't know i just don't know if people are ready to buy into 4k at this point some people flat out don't even care about 4K. At that. I mean, if people really care that much about graphics, don't you think people would just game on PC at this point? If people really care that much about graphics, I think people care to a certain extent, but not as much as they're trying to make it seem like. I think they're trying to compete with PCs right now, which is a fight consoles are never going to win. <laughs> so it's like, I, I just don't even know if... Uh, how many people are really going to buy this thing, the Xbox One X? Because I, I, I don't know. But that that that's my review of uh, Microsoft's uh, conference. Wasn't bad. Could have been better. Was hoping that they really just show some games that were only on Xbox. Because that's really all they need, in my opinion. Just games, good games, that you can only get on Xbox One. And it will immediately give the Xbox One more value. That's really what it boils down to, in my opinion. So, uh, that's my review, my little recap of, of Microsoft's E3 2017 press conference. What did you guys think of it? What would you give this press conference from a 1 out of 10? What would you give it, man? Uh, I will see you guys later today for Ubisoft's conference, and you know I'll see y'all later today. For tonight, I should say. But when Sony take those rounds, put them in the chamber and be like, <laughs> <laughs> just start shooting on psychics. Lord have mercy. I can't wait for that Sony press conference tonight.
I will see you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace.